in the 15. Veteran Dan Morris out of Maine in the 33 Maine. Ryan Wentworth in the 10. And then at the rear of the field will be Eric Banks in the 5. And Nadine Coates in the number 40 Mercury. Green flag is out. Ethan Gupton waves it. 50 laps the distance here at Star Speedway. And to no one's surprise, Emerson Geyer gets to jump there. But Desmond Skillings is riding a rocket there, a sideways rocket. Man. He moved from third, battling to second, got sideways, now drafted back to third. As there's a wild show. The third. 93 of Tim Poiquet spinning around like a top. Aaron Aiken also involved. Wentworth in the 10 involved. Jake Rayum going through the grass there in turn three and four. He was involved in the wreck. Does not look like anyone was heavily damaged. Also see the 40 of Nadine Coates heading off the track. There's gonna be a cone rule. That means when the driver gets to the cone, they can decide whether to go high or low. Maybe sacrifice some track position for a better racing groove. Oh, as Matt Sonhalter makes a gamble, goes down low, gives up that fourth spot. Nick Anderson in the 55 will move up several positions. All the way up to fourth. Sometimes called the choose rule, sometimes the cone rule. Something that was invented by the ASA National Tour several years ago. Used down at Bowman Gray Stadium down in the Carolinas. And it's something we've tried on the Northeast Mini Stock Tour for a few seasons. So that resets the field a little bit. Emerson Kyer in the 88 leads over Kevin Cormier in the 14Z. Desmond Skillings in the 90. Nick Anderson takes advantage of the cone rule to move up to fourth with Matt Sonalter in fifth. Aaron Day, Joe Catula, Mike Veens, Dana Shepard. And Pat Huell, your current top 10. Ethan Gupta looks the field over and the flagman throws the green. This time Cormier gets the edge at the uh, start. But in turn two, it's Emerson Geyer who drifts down low and settles into the lead. Cormier gets to his rear bumper. Doesn't have enough to get around him. Meanwhile, Nick Anderson looking very good on the outside. Noses ahead into third. Anderson, winner of his heat race earlier today. Looking very good in the outside groove. He gets by Desmond Skillings. Looks outside Cormier. Cormier drifts up high. Now Skillings tries the bottom on Anderson. Anderson, though, comfortable in that spot. Gets to the rear bumper cover of Kevin Cormier. Little bit of contact, just incidental. As now Anderson goes down low. Anderson moves into second place down the back stretch. Four laps in, and Nick Anderson now is in pursuit of Emerson Kyer. Anderson had started 10th. Five laps into this show, he's up to second. A good run for that driver out of Oxford, Massachusetts. He gets to a half car length of your leader. Emerson Kyer. Now the number five goes around on the back stretch. Rookie driver Aaron ba Eric Banks spins in the dirt but keeps going. Not only does he not bring out a caution, he also stays on the lead lap. So a nice job there by Eric Banks who's fighting a very evil handling car. 15 has some trouble. Ray King goes to the pit area. So King will be the second driver to head to the pits tonight. Nadine Coates already in the pit area. Possibly out of the race. As now Nick Anderson closes up to your leader, Emerson Kyer. Anderson gets underneath them. They make a little bit of contact. Just incidental. As it's Ford versus Chevrolet here on lap nine. Kevin Cormier settles into the third position. As Eric Banks stays out of the way as a lap car. Ten laps down. Forty to go. 
Top three clear that lap car. As now Anderson takes another try at the lead. He goes underneath Kyer in turn three. Kyer gets sideways. Anderson backs out of it. That allows Kevin Cormier to close up on him. But look now. Desmond Skillings, he was in fourth. He's closed up underneath Cormier. And Skillings looks like he might have a fast car he can chase down the leaders with. Matt Sonhalter likes that lane as well. Sonhalter looks underneath Cormier. Does get it done that time. 13 laps in. Meanwhile, up front. Nick Anderson gets up to the rear bumper of Emerson Kyer again. After losing quite a bit of ground with that last contact. Kevin Cormier goes up high. Loses two positions. Action all over the place. As Kyer just barely leads over Nick Anderson. Desmond Skilling settles in the third, but the battle is for fourth. Matt Sonhalter ahead of Aaron Day. Mike Veen's now in sixth. And Kevin Cormier had a great start drifting through the field with that brand new race car. 16 laps down. Veteran main driver Dan Morris can be the next car to look at going a lap down. He's made a career out of racing at places like Oxford Plains Speedway and Wiscasset. Running some with the tour this year. Emerson Kyer. By mere feet over Nick Anderson. Anderson looks down low down the front stretch. Can't arc that into turn one quite the way he wants to, though. Going to take another shot there at the leader. Anderson can close right up on Emerson Kyer, but he just can't get alongside of him, much less by him. They are putting uh, quite a bit of distance on third place, though. Now, 21 laps in the book, 29 to go. May see some changes here as we come up on heavy lap traffic. As now there's a battle for third. As Aaron Day has closed up on Desmond Skillings. Meanwhile, the leader comes into lap traffic. Wentworth goes a lap down here to Emerson Kyer. Bill Schroeder will be the next one. Anderson gets alongside. Wentworth clears him as well. Now Schroeder goes a lap down to both Kyer and Anderson. Dana Shepard goes off the track. After a strong heat race performance. Oh, and a bit of contact there for third. Aaron Day gets by Desmond Skillings in heavy traffic. Skillings gets booted and bumped all the way down the front straightaway, but saves it. Skillings back to fourth. Now Mike Deans looks underneath him to take that position away. Maybe a tire going down on that 90 of Skillings as he loses fourth. And the car's all kinds of squirrely. Meanwhile, Emerson Kyer is extending his lead in traffic as we see some bumper cars there with Pat Hewell in the 57 getting bumped by the 34 of Tyson Payne. Eric Banks gets a little squirrely, goes through the infield. Exciting moment there for the leaders as they work through some relentless lap traffic here on lap 28. Ethan Guptill showing the passing flag. Pat Hewell moves out of the way. As Nick Anderson gets jammed up behind two wide lap traffic. 
Tyson Payne throwing a block on your second place driver. Now gets out of the way after yelled at on the receiver by race director Bob Guptill. But it worked out well for Emerson Kyer, who now has a five car length lead on Nick Anderson. Maybe the fastest car out there. <laughs> Day running in third, but he has to get by the lap car Tyson Payne to contend for position. Erin Aiken going slow on the track. She's about to go a lap down. Tough break for the 33 New Hampshire after they had high hopes coming into this race. Kyer tries the outside of Aiken. This is allowing Nick Anderson to close back up. So what? Oh, there's contact. Aaron Aiken goes around after door slamming. A little bit of door slamming between her and the 88. Aiken stopped down there in turn two. And the yellow flag comes out. Meyer and Kevin Cormier. That blue 14Z, your last car on the lead lap. Oh, Destin Skillings has a problem. Pull City infield on the restart. Skillings in the 90 had been running in the fifth position. As now on the track, the 34 goes into the spin cycle there. Stalls out there in turn one. And that's going to bring out the caution. It's amazing. The cure to a broken down race car is always throwing the yellow flag. Yeah. And able to get up around him. Now he'll restart alongside him. And with 17 laps to go, may make quite a race out of this. So you have a Ford on the inside, Chevy on the outside. Rear wheel drive Mustang and a front wheel drive Cavamaro. Green flag out. And Anderson edges ahead. But look at Aaron Day and his Honda. Volkswagen, I'm told. Sorry. Aaron Day makes his way up in the second. Oh, and Joe Catula goes for the moon launch there, trying to use Mike Veens as a ramp. Unfortunately, Veens goes around in a cloud of dirt. Oh, and there's trouble there in second place. Mayhem, I tell you. Aaron Day stopped. 5 still stayed on the lead lap throughout that mayhem. So we have nine lead lap cars. Two very fast, but a little bit wounded cars in the rear. Mike Veen's 85 and Nick Anderson's 55. Green flag is out. And Tom Silva goes into the lead. Silva clears. Emerson Kyer. He's never won a Northeast Mini Stock Tour race. Now mechanical problems on Emerson Kyer's car. The 88 drops to the rear. Look at this, Tom Silva from Connecticut up front. Very popular driver among the pit area. He's got a three car length advantage over Jake Rayum and Kevin Cormier. None of these top three drivers have won in their careers before. And now with 14 laps, it looks like they may decide the fate of this race. Louis Meyer runs fourth. He's got a career win at Thunder Road. Justin Fafford in the 04. He's never won on the tour before. Catula in the 4K has never won on the tour before. So out of those top six cars, one career victory. Now, while Tom Silva is not one with that 34 car, the car has won before. His car owner, Roger Ducharme, won at Unity years ago driving that car. Now, Roger's a car owner, and he's cheering on Tommy Silva. Silva does know how to win. He's won at Thompson, won in the World Series there last year in a weekly mini stock. But Jake Rayum, he's cheering for himself. He puts a fender along time, Tom Silva. 
10 laps to go. They're side by side. Kevin Cormier right on the tail. And look at that, the little short green car. The Super Honda of Louis Meyer up to third. He calls it the little Honda that could. We call it the stubby green machine. As Jake Rayum looks down low. Rayum edges out into the lead. His wife is here. His kids are here. They're cheering him on. Eight laps to go and Jake Rayum is up front. Maintains that car up in Rochester, New Hampshire with his brother-in-law, his family. A true low buck operation. And an extra hundred bucks for the winner, thanks to Brian Kruzak and Kruzak's Garage. Best place to get your, race, your street car worked on around here. And Jake Rayum. He's extending that lead over Tom Silva. Louis Meyer running third. Extra 100 bucks on the line, thanks to Brian Kruzak and Kruzak's Garage. And Jake Green wants that money. Four laps to go this time by. Battles for second. It's a little Honda. Down low, Louis Meyer in the green machine. The 34, which is white this year. We used to call it the purple deep leader because it was purple. Not anymore. Those white colors looking good for Tom Silver. Tries to cross over move. They make contact. Louis Meyer sideways. You can see his numbers looking sideways. But he holds on. Joe Catula joins that battle. Look at this. Justin Fafford in the top five. The underdogs are rocking the show here at Star Speedway. Jake Rayum, comfortable lead down the backstretch. Lap and a half to go. He gets the white flag. Jake Rayum, your leader with one to go. Dana Shepard goes around in turn two. He's out of the way of the leaders. Race stays green. Louis Meyer comfortable in second. Tom Silver third. Catula tries to make a move on Silva. Doesn't do it. Yellow comes out, but the checkered flag as well. As Jake Rayum wins his first career turn four automotive in performance, Northeast Mini Stock Tour race.